In this lesson, we'll be discussing what happens when Tollens reagent is added to a compound. The question reads, draw the condensed structural formula for the product of oxidation, if any, when Tollens reagent is added to each of the following compounds. We have propanol, propanone, and 2-methylbutanol. Notice the suffix of each of these words. They have A-L, O-N-E, and A-L. O and E are ketones, and when they end with A-L, that's an aldehyde. That will be important because Tollens reagent is a chemical reagent used to determine the presence of an aldehyde. They will react with aldehydes, not ketones. The reagent consists of a solution of silver nitrate, ammonia, and sodium hydroxide. So with that being said, we know that nothing will happen when we mix Tollens reagent with propanone because it's a ketone. What about propanol? First of all, propanol looks like this. We have a three carbon chain. And given that it's an aldehyde, it has a double bond on the first carbon. Notice there's no number in front of the word. So it's in the first one. And that's what propanol looks like. Of course, you would have CH3, CH2, and that's it. So when this reagent is added, it ends up producing a carboxylic acid, where this H becomes an OH, and that's it. Let's skip B and move on to C. 2-methylbutanol, that looks like this, where we have a 4-carbon chain because of the BUT. It is an aldehyde, and it's existing at the first carbon. 2-methyl means that we have a methyl group right there. And of course, these are hydrogens. We're expecting a carboxylic acid, so this H will be replaced with OH, and that's it, you're done. The next question, why does silver mirror form when Tollens reagent is added to a test tube containing benzaldehyde? Benzaldehyde is a benzene ring, a six carbon benzene ring, and it is attached or bonded to carbon, double bonded to oxygen, and a hydrogen. The reason this happens is because remember that the reagent consists of silver and the oxidation of benzaldehyde reduces the silver ion to a metallic silver. So it looks like this originally, AgNO3, silver nitrate. When these two come together and they react, the silver of this molecule becomes solid silver or metallic silver which forms the silvery coating on the inside of the test tube. The complete chemical reaction is shown on your screen.